Welcome back, everyone. We have our local movie reviewers, Bart and Jennifer Mills, in. Today, we're going to be talking about a movie called Anatomy of a Fall. I'm very excited about this one because I've heard some good things. So it's a French movie, right? Right. So this movie is about a German no uh, novelist. She is on trial for the murder of her husband's death. Um, where the only witness, not really a witness, because their son is blind, and he, but he and the mother are the only ones on the property when the husband falls to his death. Okay. Now, this I got a question for you. Be, this being a French movie, I'm guessing most of or all of the movie has subtitles. <laughs> no, actually, well, I mean, uh, we watched it with subtitles, but uh, actually, it is a it is a combination. It's sort of a fascinating thing that's going on in movies right now. Is we see more and more international films and even American films that are doing multiple languages because more and more households are speaking multiple languages, and so uh, in this case. Uh, interestingly enough, the uh, lead actress, Sandra Huller, is actually a German actress. She plays a novelist, the wife, who is actually German. Uh, the, the male, her husband, is French, and they decide that they're going to speak English to one another all the time because that's the language that is their sort of common their, ground. Their common ground. And so um, it's, it serves both as a way for, as a viewer, you get quite a bit of English in here as well as subtitles. And then, of course, as the metaphor, it's two people who really aren't communicating in their native tongue. All right, so this is really considered like a, a courtroom drama thriller, I would say, right? Right, it's, it's part legal drama, it's part drama of a, a marriage that's on the edge, on the brink of collapse. Um, it's, it's a very powerful movie. I, the performances by um, Sandra Hewler and the boy who plays her son, who is Milo Grainer, um, were both just really amazing. Uh, I, did, I did look this up. The, the movie is rated R. So is, I'm guessing, I don't know why it's rated R. I don't know why. I have That's no strange. idea. There's no I mean, nudity, there's no cursing. Yeah, uh, I, don't I mean, know why it's, I mean it's, it's, it's adult materials. I mean, these are, right, this, is, this is a, a hard look at a marriage. And the idea is that, you know, it, you know in, in communications, there's this sort of triarchy of, of ideas that um, we're all about either the way I see you, how you see you, or how I see you seeing me. And so as a result, that's the way this whole story is crushed narrative in that way. So this is a, this is a, it's really a story about, uh, you know, not just a marriage and how, how it, how it crumbles, but also how easy it is to pick apart a marriage from outside, which is what the prosecution does in this case. And the police, yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's heavy lifting in terms of the, the, the philosophy of it, but it's really a fairly, that's straightforward because it's French courts, which is another fascinating oh, point wow. because their courts run very different than ours. Um, but it's it's a fairly straightforward um, legal thriller, but it's really wrapped around the actual story of a marriage. All right, and this this actually film that won quite a few award, awards already has won some of Golden Globes, uh, Cannes Film Festival awards, and European Film Awards. So. They did pretty yeah, well. it took it took Palm Du Horicon. It took uh, it took the uh, best screenplay at Golden Globe this year. Uh, it is not nominated by the French in the international um, category for the Oscars, so it won't be up for that. But there's talk about it being a best uh, best uh, film, best film or best and certainly it's maybe. a phenomenal screenplay written by the director Juliette Trier and her husband, um, who I you know it's it, I'm. It, it's it's illustrative of the movie that I don't know his name, <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, it's it's it is a really amazing movie, and it's going to be up for a lot of awards and a lot of conversations over the next year. Yeah. Now, is this movie in the theaters or is this on streaming now? Is this how can we watch this? We rented it. Um, it is streaming, and we rented it on Prime. Uh, it was in some theaters down in Dayton, some independent theaters, but it isn't in any local theaters that we know of. Okay, so I, I thought I thought it was mostly streaming, but you know, some local theaters might have it as well. You know, maybe outside of the cities or, or bigger cities, perhaps. Yeah, we we're big fans. I'll give a uh, I'll give a little push to the Neon down in Dayton. Right, uh, really lovely little independent movie theater down there, and they do tend to show some of these movies. It showed there earlier in the year. Um, I believe this is an Apple TV product. I think they bought it eventually, so eventually it'll show up on Apple TV. But now you got to pay the five bucks to rent it on video on demand. All right, and so going to our family favorite website, Rotten Tomatoes. I know you love it. They gave it a 96% approval rating. So what do you think? 
I totally agree with that. I'd probably give it a 98%. It was a very, very well done movie. Um, if you're into the um, you know true crime world, he mentioned the French court system. It was fascinating <laughs> to see how a French trial runs. Just, I mean, if you are the suspect, you can be questioned at any time by the person who, the witness, you can be questioned by the judge, by the defense, by the prosecutor at any time. You could be asked a question of anyone in the room. It was pretty crazy, but yeah, it was yeah. very interesting. She spent a good chunk of the movie yelling at the screen, object, object. <laughs> I explained to her that this is a French yeah. court, there's no objections. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a feeling I know what you're going to give it, but you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs sideways. Thumbs, thumbs up for sure, um, especially, like I said, if you are going to be tracking what's going to be up for the Oscars, like us, um, you're definitely going to want to see this film. All right, so we're giving a big wee-wee for Anatomy of the Fall. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice French. Wow, you're like a native. I know, it just, just rolls off my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> well, Byron and Jennifer Mills, thank you so much for joining us today. I really do appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Well, don't go away because we have more than we return.